Okay, so uh, today we'll be talking about lacrimal system. Uh, lacrimal system um, is divided into secretory part and drainage part. It's like uh, the sink. So we have the tap and the sink. Uh, the, the secretory part are the lacrimal glands. We have the accessory lacrimal glands and we have the lacrimal gland proper. So the excretory lacrimal gland and the lacrimal gland proper act as a one unit. The excretory lacrimal glands, the sambuhum cruise and wolf ring. Cruise are usually part, uh, are usually in the upper part of the fornix. Wolf ring mujdin ala the lower part of the tarsus. Tamam, in the palpebral conjunctum. And uh, with the lacrimal gland, they both excrete the reflex tearing and the uh, basic tearing. Uh, صراحة كان في ديبيت زمان على إنه lacrimal gland is the one which is responsible for reflex tearing but this doesn't really apply anymore ليش لأنه اكتشفوا الناس uh, إنه uh, once you take the lacrimal gland out still that I can really uh, produce enough tears uh, you know in, uh, when the patient is sad when the patient is crying um, in order to produce you know, enough tears for reflex tearing. تمام؟ طبعا tears, they come from the lacrimal glands and then they, they swipe all until they, they enter into the lacus lacrimalis and then they drain into the uh, upper punctum and the lower punctum through the upper and the lower caniliculi and then they enter into the lacrimal sac. From the lacrimal sac, it is pushed downward into the inferior turbinate ala bi al, 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 uh, in the duct, in the lacrimal duct, until they open into the inferior turbinate and they drain into the nose. <coughs> Tama. Well, uh, there is something called the lacrimal pump. The lacrimal pump is a physiological pump. تمام؟ there is no anatomical pump يعني هي مش مضخة والله anatomical هي physiological pump شو فكرتها؟ الفكرة وما فيها إنه uh, when the patient is blinking the uh, tears will drain from the lacus lacrimalis into the lacrimal sac تمام؟ now the, when the eye blinks and those punctae they close and oppose to each other this system becomes a closed system so the orbicularis uh, will compress the lacrimal sac and it will push the fluid into the nose. صح. This will create a vacuum, just a momentary vacuum. The vacuum will suck more uh, once the, uh, the, uh, the eye opens and those two puncti, they separate from each other. The uh, the uh, tears will be sucked again into the, uh, uh, let's say, the, uh, the lacrimal sac. This is called the lacrimal pump. تمام? So it's a physiological pump. So what are the symptoms and signs of, uh, usually see because of uh, lacrimal uh, gland dysfunction or, or uh, lacrimal uh, let's say uh, overflow, let's, oh, let's say epiphora. So sometimes it's dryness, itching, and burning. Trial in dryness, itching, and burning, um, it can happen due to excessive lacrimation. You know, tears on the skin will cause uh, the skin to become eczematous. This will cause really itching, burning of the skin. Tamam? Also, dryness can cause itching and burning of the skin. Tamam? Because of inadequate uh, tear film, uh, the amount is, is uh, you know, it's it's more or less a mucinous type of, uh, of secretion. Uh, it can be related to allergy. Tamam? Uh, this will cause really burning sensation. Also photosensitivity because of uh, punctate erosions on the cornea. Uh, problems with wearing contact lenses, Akid, and watery eye. Now, watery eye can be, it's due to epiphora, leume, due, uh, epiphora means excessive lacrimation due to blockage of the uh, lacrimal system, 
or it can be excessive tearing tamam excessive tearing but it's not it's not you know it's it's different from epiphora excessive tearing or lacrimation due to overproduction tamam ma mish mish epiphora epiphora is it you like to this is a uh, uh, excessive lacrimation due to blockage of the tear ducts tamam hala khalina nahki ala al tear film al tear film is jamaat al khair uh, in the old days we used to say there are three layers we have outer lipid layer, uh, middle uh, aqueous, and inner mucinous. Now, with the development of knowledge, we know that these are two layers, lipid layer and aqueomucinous layer. Tamam? Because the aqueous and mucin, they are all mixed together in order to form a healthy tear film. Hello? Taban, subhanak rabbi, why do we have three layers? Taban, if you imagine a, a drop of water on a surface, you will see that this drop of water will collect in a droplet, a small roundish droplet. It will never go flat, like for example, uh, uh, oil. Tamam? Oil usually becomes more flat. It goes flat. Water, la, it, become, it, 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 it's, it has something called surface tension, which will, which will cause the uh, the globule to become to become round. But and this really is a, b a very big problem if if we want to um, take it into consideration. Uh, this will really cause a very bad uh, refractive problem, the man, because the tear film has to be flat. So in order to flatten that, we need a a, a, um, a layer that will. Uh, let's say, uh, decrease the surface tension uh, of both the inner and the outer surface. So you need the lipid layer, phospholipids, which will dissolve this small amount of water into the air, so the, uh, the tear film will become more flat, and it will dissolve also the mucinous layer. The mucinous layer will help the uh, water dissolve into and attach to the epithelium of the cornea. So by that, you will have a large, let's say, uh, uh, flat surface, uh, and it gives really very good, uh, you know, it's, it becomes a very good refractive surface uh, rather than having that globule stuck on the cornea. Uh, the patient with the dryness. بقول لك والله دكتور بس لما أغمض عيني وأفتحها كذا مرة الدنيا بتوضح بس بعدين بترجع الغبشير بيرجع ليه لأنه the tear film is unhealthy. تمام the refractive surface on the cornea is unhealthy. طيب let's talk about infection of the lacrimal passages these are really important that you have to know اللي هم congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction mucosal uh, canaliculitis or dacrocystitis هذول كثير بيجوا بالامتحانات ومهمين جدا جدا تمام congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction now children are born with nasolacrimal duct obstruction all of them تمام because uh, the tear ducts, uh, let's say the lacrimal ducts, do not open and do not canalize until one month after birth. Okay. What does this imply? It, it implies as well that tear production, when do we start tearing? Babies, they cry without tearing, which is very smart, Saraha. So why do we need to lose water when we are crying? Because the crying is the only method of uh, communication with our parents. But subhanAllah, tears, they start to develop in babies after two to three months of age. Never before. Tamam. Same thing, Canal canalization of the nasolacrimal duct do not start until one month or two months after birth. So uh, some children are delayed. They have delayed, let's say, canalization of the nasolacrimal duct. So they start to complain, so they are brought by parents complaining of 
uh, really um, mucopurulent discharge uh, or excessive tearing in the eye. Tamam. What do you need to do in this in this case? You have to wait, observe. Tamam. We give them a massage. Tamam. You ask the 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 uh, the parent to massage the area with the little finger. Just uh, frequent um, pushing the area so that it's clean. You can give them also a topical antibiotic. It will help with adequate cleaning the area with hot water. Hot or yeah, let's say uh, warm water, okay? And you wait until nine months, sometimes 10 months. And if it doesn't work, then you can do something called uh, um, probing or syringing. Usually uh, probing, you have the, the uh, valve of Hasner, which is the uh, lower valve just before the inferior turbinate. This is the one which is usually closed. So it's a distal closure, the uh, Usually the uh, a probe is inserted in the upper canaliculus. It opens the valve of Hasner and uh, it's, it has a uh, success rate of around 70 to 90%. If the patient, you can reprobe the patient, but if you want to reprobe them, it's better actually to uh, insert a monoca tube, just a mini monoca tube, a silicone tube, which is left there for around uh, two, three months. Okay, and then you can take it out. This really improves the success of surgery to 95%. Okay. Azim. So, uh, Dacryo seal. Dacryo seal, this is a uh, distension of the lacrimal, uh, lacrimal sac by a trapped amniotic fluid. Okay, amnioto seal. And uh, this is usually by an, imp it, it happens due to an imperforated valve of Hasner. Uh, it can be misdiagnosed with uh, nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Taman. Taban, the treatment, bardo command probing and syringing. Yani, uh, uh, in my early cases, I had one, one child uh, which I actually opened that mucosil. And then I had to re-suture it again and then do the, the, the probing. Now, even if you have uh, this collection of pus inside, don't really fear doing uh, going inside the probe, just opening that probe, and that's it. All the pus will drain. Uh, now, the problem is that if you open that uh, bag, uh, you will create a fistula. An easier way, an easier path for the, the mucus to go out. So there is no intention. There is no, let's say, uh, there is no adequate pressure uh, for the normal fistula to work well. تمام? That's why uh, I always like, uh, you know, to put this, this case, congenital decreasil, it's a little bit different than nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Uh, and a little bit different in uh, congenital nasal lacrimal duct obstruction that we see. Okay. Chronic uh, canaliculitis. Chronic canaliculitis is uh, usually caused by actinomyces raelii. This is a bacteria. Uh, it causes sulfur granules and concretions inside the lacrimal canal. Uh, the treatment is by three snip operation. You take out the sulfur granules, but not the coyotes, you give antibiotics, and things will really improve. Usually those patients, they come with epiphora, they come with, uh, um, uh, you know, discharge a lot, and uh, uh, always um, they have this burning sensation that they are undiagnosed with. Tamam? Tamam, hachouf inta ala lacrimal al punctum, hachouf adinium sacri, and it's hyperemic, as you can see here. And once you open it with three snip operation, the sulfur granules will come out uh, through that punctum. Acute dacrocystitis. Acute dacrocystitis is a 
um, yani as the name implies, this is a sudden onset of uh, uh, pain, redness, and uh, postular, um, let's say, collection in the lacrimal sac. Usually it happens secondary to chronic uh, obstruction of the nasolacrimal duct, usually one and a half to two years. Uh, all of a sudden, they start to, because of the uh, total blockage of the nasolacrimal um, uh, duct, the sac will uh, become stagnant with, uh, let's say, infected tears. And from there, it will uh, form something called the acute dactocystitis. Treatment of acute dactocystitis is warm compressors, antibiotics, and you have to rush to the emergency, emergency uh, department and to do uh, an adequate DCR, dacryosystonostomy, for those patients. Chronic dacryosystitis is, uh, let's say, the harbor of acute dacryosystitis. The patient has chronic epiphora, they have chronic blockage, uh, they don't want to go to, uh, you know, to the uh, they don't seek help actually early on, and that's why they convert into acute dacrocystitis. Uh, with chronic dacrocystitis, they come with unilateral or bilateral uh, epiphora. Uh, the, there is blockage of the nasolacrimal duct, and uh, the treatment is by uh, dacryocystorhinostomy, a an operation that will communicate the, uh, or let's say it will shift the tears, the tear drainage from the inferior turbinate into the superior or let's say superior turbinate uh, of, the, uh, of the nose. And in open, uh, <coughs> this is the uh, dacrocystorhinostomy. We have open dacrocystorhinostomy, endoscopic, in, uh, endoscopic dacrocystorhinostomy and endonasal. Details of surgery is not really important, but the important thing is that the lacrimal sac is opened into the nose. So you are creating a new passage for tears to drain. And you are deleting the previous passage. Thank you so much. This really concludes the uh, lacrimal uh, system. Uh, any